and how's it going guys I know it's been a while um, some of you guys already know what's going on some of you guys might not so our new project is gonna be project all-wheel drive guys um, got most of the parts already so I skipped all the boring stuff for you and for the next series we're just gonna talk about and showing you guys how to all-wheel drive swap and Acura RSX. So here's most of the parts. Got the transmission, rear diff, uh, spindles, subframe. I already started on the subframe painting it. And just gotta get some of the rust out a little further down. And we'll continue painting that. Just picked up some paint. And guys, this is a fairly easy process. It's not too bad. We're gonna we're gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna show you all the steps. You know, I'm going to do a fuel cell, I'm going to show you how to cut the tunnel, everything guys. Um, we'll go over as everything as we can, uh, as detailed as possible, we'll show you every step. You know, 90 or 85% of this bolts onto the car, it's that last 15 to 10% does take some fabrication. So if you don't know how to fabricate, I don't know how to fabricate, so I'm going to have one of my close friends, Jesse, actually. Uh, come and help me out building the tunnel and, and all the fabrication needs you know rear diff mount so hey guys i hope you guys are looking forward to this new series it's going to be exciting i was actually partying out the rsx i got rid of so much stuff you know but uh i don't know man i just couldn't see myself uh getting rid of it man i had this car for a long time and it's going to be a nice project so no more boost i'm not going to be boosted guys so those of you, those of you guys that think i'm gonna have a boosted all-wheel drive rsx not gonna do that. Not interested in that. I'm not gonna be one of those people that just blows the transfer case and rear diff and those trannies all the time and you know make them rare. You know, I, I decided I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a nice all motor setup. You know, maybe close to 300 horsepower. Um, I am gonna clean the engine bay up in this series. Um, maybe I don't know yet. I might do a small wire tuck. Uh, you'll see a fuel set. Uh, you'll see me do a fuel cell setup. And obviously the all-wheel dry swap. So, and I'm also going to rebuild this motor for high compression. So that's going to be awesome. I'm um, setting out my clutch to get, you know, inspected to see if it needs to be rebuilt at all before I put it in. Might as well. And I already sold my K20A2 head that was built. So I'm pretty much don't know what I'm going to do about the cylinder head yet. I'm thinking about just doing a K24 head. Might as well. I don't I mean I don't really care about doing a K20, K24, K20 right now. Maybe I'll do it down the line, but we'll see. We'll see what we make for K24 head because I have a friend that's actually going to sell me a K24 head for a good price. I couldn't let it go. So, hey guys, hope you guys are excited. All right, uh, finished painting the subframe. Not the best job. I don't really care too much about the subframe. Just didn't want the rust showing. So just painted that. Um, haven't fully decided what I want to do next. So what I'm thinking, while the subframe is drying, the next step I think will be taking out the RSX um, spindles. Sorry, take out the RSX spindles and trying to figure all that out. Retrofitting that. There you go. And these are Element. I'm using Element uh, spindles. Apparently, they can bolt on to the re the the RSX. Uh, was this shit called? Uh, trailing arms. So I actually want to try it. I'm gonna see. Um, it looks like it's gonna fit. Like I was really, really, really looking at it, and it looks like it fits. Uh, I think I'm gonna gut out the e-brake shit that's in here, and I'm gonna try to util utilize the stock RSX e-brake. And then the only thing I have to worry about if that works is remounting. I have to figure out how to remount this you break the actual lever because mm -hmm. we're cutting our tunnel exactly where that's mounted so we will have to you know we have to rerun the lines is one thing and after we run the lines we have to uh basically find a new home for for this not a new home but like i guess remake a new bracket i mean mm -hmm. it's not too hard we don't have to use this bracket itself because you can see the actual mechanism that goes up and down is bolted onto the bracket. So, if you look on this side, mm -hmm. it means mm -hmm. all we have to do is make 
a new bracket and we should be all right um well i'll update you guys that as that comes along that's something i'm gonna do with my friend jesse he's a fabricator he knows you know he knows a little bit more about that kind of stuff than i do um so yeah we're probably gonna do rear spindles after re, re spin well, the rear spindles the next step we're probably gonna do is put this subframe in the rsx mock up the all-wheel drive transmission which is this right here and then start kind of like seeing where that rear diff needs to line up at, so we can install the transmission and the drive shaft and once that's in all we have to do like i said we got our measure we can measure right there exactly how the rear bracket needs to be done in the back here after we take drop the gas tank so the gas tank is completely in the way so that has to drop all right all right guys so i'll be back all right guys so i 100 percent decided i'm gonna take out the rear spindles first um i'm not gonna film all of this guys all right um the way i see it is if you're trying to tackle an all-wheel drive swap on any honda acura or whatever you should know what you're doing in terms of basic mechanic skills and this is basic i am going to show in depth the actual the, the the rear diff and all that kind of stuff because that's the stuff where it's a little bit more custom fabricating and i'm going to show exactly how we did it so if you guys want to do it the way we did it you guys can see how it looks um but certain things like removing the spin, spindle and putting this one on well I, I will show you guys if i can get the r6 hardware like the brake and all that stuff to fit on this um i'll keep you guys posted uh yep yeah, so once I have that all figured out, I'll take this out and see how this can mount on that trailing arm to see if it even mounts. Because if not, then I have to get trailing arms from a CRV or a... not even sure if an element on trailing arm will work, but I think it does. I'll just have to do just a little, you know, call a couple of people that have done this before. So they know a little bit more than me, but uh, I'm just here to bring some information to light. You know, there's not a lot of information out there on the internet. I know it's kind of hard, you know, it's kind of intimidating. I'm not really intimidated to do this. I mean, I don't really use this car at all right now. So it can sit, this is, this is my winter project. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, but hopefully it doesn't take as long as people say it takes. So we will see. It's supposed to be pretty easy, you know? So let's see guys. So I'm gonna take the spindle off and I'm gonna start trying to mock that up, and once I have a kind of concrete answer of how all this works, so this is an element spindle, um, just so you guys know, and I'm trying to do element spindle to mate to the RSX trailing arms. If it works, I'm gonna be right back and let you guys know. If it doesn't work, I'll still be back, but I'll let you know that it doesn't work, and we're gonna figure out the next steps after that, all right, guys? All right, as you guys can see how similar they look, all the mounting points. Well, I'm going to try to get this in and let you know what I discover, alright guys? Alright, so, figured out a few things. Pretty much, it will work on an R6 trailing arm. I mean, some people, from what I'm, people are telling me is that this bolt should, should fit here. But it doesn't fit on mine. So, I'm just going to drill out the, sp the spindle. And the only other thing that I know for sure is that you have to cut this piece off right there. If not, it won't it won't sit. It won't fit. Um, other than that, it looks like it should work. Um, I'm taking a risk here. You know, hopefully I don't have to buy a new spindle. I already started boring it out. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but yeah, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to make this. Simple. I mean, this is definitely not the simple way. I think it's definitely gonna be easier just to buy a trailing arm. I just don't feel like doing that. I have the stuff to bore this out and cut that off. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see. The only thing is that I have to order the bolt for here because mine seized inside the old R6 spindle. So there was no way of getting that out. I had to cut it off. So I have to order a new one of those. Um, but either which way. Without that bolt there, like if I can get one and two on, I know it fits. Without that one actually being in there for now, I can order that when that comes in, I'll put it in. 
And from here, basically we're looking to do, to see if the RSX brakes will fit on. So, yeah, as I figure things out, I'll keep you guys posted. What's up guys, so I got the Element spindle connected to the RSX uh, trailing arms. So, as you can see, it fits. So, I got, let me get move the light this way. I got the the front bolt in perfectly fine. It's in your solid. The front, you just had to trim the bushing. The bushing usually sits here, but it protrudes way too far out, so that's why I can't slide in. So now you see how there's gaps here. Um, I'm gonna solve that gap by filling it in with some proper size washers. Uh, so we're perfectly fine like that. Everything looks like it's mounted up fine here. Nothing is, seems like it's gonna interfere with the axle except for, we're gonna have to get rid of this. But I might try to do, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to figure something out. I'm gonna see if I can make maybe a custom sway bar um, bracket or something. I don't know, we'll see. But I, I think we might be able to save the sway bar. If not, you just can't run the rear sway bar. It's not a big deal. But, uh, hey, big steps forward. We got the element, the element spindle bolted in. I'm gonna take care of the other side next, the next episode. And well, yeah, guys, we're just gonna keep tackling this little by little. So I ordered, it's so like we said earlier, the RSX brake um, bracket for the caliper doesn't fit on the spindle. So I ordered, hopefully the ones that's gonna work, I ordered the CRV slash element brackets. And you're supposed to be able to bolt on the RSX uh, calipers to that. So we will see, and then from there we're gonna figure out which rotor we have to run. So I got the RSX rotor here. And then I have a element rotor there. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, all right? Peace.